I can't believe it. I can't fucking believe it. Just got a letter back from school. The thing I spent three months working on. Diligently, I suppose. Just got my letter back. And it reads, We're pleased to inform you that you have passed first period of apprenticeship technical training. Your results are presented on the other side. 78%! The pass was a 70! No way in God-given hell did I ever, ever imagine that I would fucking pass! I am fucking retarded! This ret oh, This deserves celebration. Sorry, Ryan. That is smooth as shit. <laughs> I am so relieved! Oh my god, I've been stressing for the last two weeks. I've been kicking myself for not studying more. Uh, even during school, especially over the last two weeks, because I was positive, absolutely positive, without a shadow of a doubt, that I failed this final exam. Hell, I barely fucking passed any of my other classes. It was... God damn. It was fucking touch and go for a man there. It, I was fucking definitely... I would th like to thank Mr. McNabb, my shop teacher, for giving me a pass in shop because I have absolutely no fucking hand skills in sheet metal. It, it's not something that I've ever done before. It, I was never required to fucking build an OG offset. Hell, I didn't even know what the hell an OG offset was before I started going to school. A change 90, uh, an elbow. God damn, I, I've never been. You know, the one thing I do need to know how to build properly is a shingle guard. And they don't even know what the hell uh, shingle guards are. And well, the ones that we use at Weiss Johnson, they don't know the exact same type. Hell, they didn't even call them the same name. So I'm just I fucking flabbergasted. Like, uh, theory, I got 74%, uh, 65 is a pass at Nate. 74%, so I did well on that. And pirate development, wait, theory, I got 74%? How the fuck? I got like 90s in all my theory tests, except for the last one. I think I shit the bed. No, no, all my theory tests, I did really well. How the hell did I only get 74%? Power and Development, I don't know how the fuck I got 75% in Power and Development. Power and Development, I failed every test we had except for the very last one. Every test I got 60, 58, 62, which were all fails in Nate's eyes. And I get 75 some fucking hell. I got like 93 on the final exam for power development, but that was just a goddamn cakewalk. It was draw all the same shit that we've been drawing before. It, it was, oh, I, I couldn't fucking believe that was so easy. And then uh, fabric uh, shop class, 65%. And my teacher even told me, he's like, I give you a bump up in that. I'm like, I appreciate all the help. I needed it. Hell, that man was at my desk, and Mr. Ripley, the other instructor in shop class, were at my table um, probably more often than anyone else, because I struggled with everything. Everything. It was fucking ridiculous. The only thing I didn't struggle, struggle with was the uh, last duck line that we built, and that was because I actually paid attention and studied for that. The other ones, they're like, I'll go home and study. I'm like, how the fuck do you study doing sheet metal if you don't have metal at home to work on? No, you can study the processes and how to go about things. Laying it out is half the battle right there. Putting it together is another fucking battle and a half. But, ah. And then blueprint reading, I got 80%. I only remember two tests in blueprint reading. And the final test that we did for blueprint, I got 55%. How did I manage to get 80% in that class beats the hell out of me. And then the most important, the AIT final, which was 78%. Uh, I'm just looking at it. Uh, I got three questions in theory wrong, three questions in parent development wrong, ten questions in uh, fabrication and welding. Big fucking surprise. I spent hours reading the individual learning modules, the ILMs as they call them, if for welding, because every time I ran across welding in a test, I had no fucking clue. Ain't nothing about oxyacetylene, nothing about TIG, MIG, uh, arc welding, none of that shit. I had no fucking clue. So I'm like, I have to study this shit. Oh, God. And then blueprint reading, I got six questions wrong.
That's actually not too bad because I didn't read a goddamn blueprint fucking book. We read them in class. We skimmed over quite a few of them in class, but I didn't actually sit down and like study and read and know codes and shit like that. It seemed pretty simple because that was one of the things that I was it was more intuitive towards me because that's I work in the field and blueprints. Well, I've never read a set of blueprints. It was more of how you do a job, and that is my expertise. But yet, I actually did the worst uh, percentages, I think, of that. Yeah. Let's see, 80% for the welding and fabrication. Uh, da, 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 fuck. I can't fucking believe it. I'm getting a raise, bitches! I'm going to be making the mad money! Fucking A. I can't believe this. <laughs> School sucked so bad. It was one of the biggest mistakes of my life, going to school. And you know what? It fucking paid off. I was miserable for three months. I was progressively getting poor for three months. And I hated... Well, the first two weeks were fine. After I broke with, Ro with Roberta, everything went to shit. And... It didn't get better until right now. Fuck. Oh my god. To all you naysayers out there, which I I don't think there were, except for me. I was the only naysayer. So fuck you, me. Have a little bit more faith in my yourself, asshole. Jesus Christ. I think I'm getting drunk tonight. I didn't intend on getting drunk tonight, but um, I have a reason to celebrate. I'm also sorry again, Ryan. Oh my god. That is tasty shit. Well, <laughs> I'm just so fucking happy I want a day.